All right, now I want you to sit down, take a breather, and pay close attention because I'm going to show you how you can lift 1,000 pounds. There it is, and here is 1,000 pounds. Now, if I were to ask you right now, could you lift this? You'd say, Jack, don't be ridiculous. Even one of the strongest men in the world couldn't lift 1,000 pounds. You know what it's true to you. <clears throat> All right. But you know, there's a right and a wrong way to do everything. There's always a, a correct way to do something. There's always a way to accomplish an impossible feat. If something is impossible, you think it's impossible, but if you have the know-how, then it can be done. Just like this 1,000 pounds, by using my head instead of my muscles, I can lift this 1,000 pounds. How's it gonna be done? Well, I want you to remember this and never forget it. May I have your undivided attention? As I told you, and here is 1,000 pounds. We have these plates. They weigh five pounds a piece. All right, I take this plate. Take another plate. See that? Five pounds. 10 pounds. 15 pounds. Here's another one. 20 pounds. Even a child could lift that five pound plate, am I right? So by keeping this up for a little while, not too many times, I will have lifted 1,000 pounds and you thought it was impossible. But see, you had the know-how. And it's just like that impossible feat or task that a lot of you students should be trying to accomplish, try to improve yourself, getting off those ugly pounds and conditioning yourself, getting yourself fit again, the way you should be, the way you used to look, getting you back in that dress size that, you, that you'd like to be wearing, bringing back your lost youth and making yourself look and feel like a different person. To you, it seems impossible. But to me, it's no more impossible than lifting this thousand pounds. We did it five pounds at a time, little easy stages, and it was accomplished. And the same with you and your condition. You probably look at yourself and you say, oh, Jack, what a mess I am. I'll never get in condition. Sure, you're not gonna get in condition one day or one week, but as the weeks go by and the days go by and pretty soon, what's happening to you? Each day, you're accomplishing something. You're, you're firming up, you're redistributing those inches, your pep and energy and vitality's coming back, you're, you're firming up your neck and your chin, your face is looking better, everything is looking better. And before you know it, what's happened? You have accomplished what you thought was the impossible of getting yourself back in condition fast. And it was easy and simple. The only thing is you need the know-how. Well, what is it? What's to know about it? Number one, you should be exercising seven days a week, doing these little simple movements here that we're doing, you know, just a few minutes a day. Another thing, you should be discontinuing from your eating habits, the cakes and pies and candy and the high calorie foods and start getting more fresh fruit and vegetables, your low calorie foods, more protein, getting extra minerals and vitamins. And that is the way to be doing this little task, like I was lifting five pounds at a time, each day you'll be lifting these little five pounds, and before you know it, success is yours. So make up your mind, that today is the day you're gonna start doing what you thought was the impossible, and now you know it's easy. Do something about it.